this is impromptu. There was a break there at one point today. Anyway. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. I didn't put up anything to say I was coming on. It's kind of dark in here, isn't it? It's getting kind of dark outside. But, anyway. Anywho, so we're at, I don't know, 5.30ish, Black Friday. I didn't leave the house. I haven't left the house. So this is what I'm doing. Oh, oh. Oh, don't, don't do that, right? <laughs> Let's turn it around. First canner. Well, okay. So here's the deal. I had turkeys, right? On sale. Like everybody had turkeys on sale. So, I think it was Saturday. I had to pick up feed for the birdies. And, um, anywho, I stopped by the store and they had the turkey, what, 29 cent a pound, blah, blah. If you spend $35. Okay, cool. You know, you always need something, right? So, $60 later, <laughs> I ended up with a $6 bird, 14 plus pound bird. So, still a little warm. Uh oh. What happened? Okay, I guess I'm buffering. Because I'm live. Anyhow. And now, oop, I have crept up. Oops, I've crept up. I hate, I love and I hate, um, the flat top. Yes, you know, the solid surface. Do we do? Because it's great, it's nice and smooth, you can set stuff there. But boy, it just fluctuates heat so much. We're supposed to be at 11, and we're at 11 and a half, and 46 minutes left. But anyway, so that's what's going on there. Oh, that's um, what's left. But anyway, so that's what's going on there. Oh, that's um, this is um, what six? This is um, what six? What was it? Six quarts, I believe, of turkey pot pie. So, carrots and onions, potatoes and peas. Everything but the turkey is from the garden. Yay! And I took, while I deboned, I took the wings and all the skin and all that yummy, yummy goodness and slow cooked it um, while these guys were processing and making their own broth in here, raw pack. So, made the broth out of, you know, the wings, things that you're not going to get a lot of meat out of anyway, and of course the skin, blah, blah. I had enough made to fill the quart jars of, like I said, turkey pot pie. Yay! And then, over here, sorry, I guess I'm reading. A little light reading while I'm you know, hanging out, but here, slow roasting. Mm. Carcass, that's the turkey carcass. With some bay leaves, some black pepper, or what's this? Just peppercorns. So, all of that yummy bone broth. Mm. That's probably going to end up being. I would say a good gallon, or maybe two, <laughs> two gallons. Come the morning, because I'm going to just kind of keep it on low all night. I just started this, actually. Um, well, about 50 minutes ago. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I, know, I figured I would just go live, because honestly... I'm just going to tell you, I've been busy. <laughs> I've been super busy. 
Let me switch you back around here. Let's see here. I don't know what's going on. Where is that light coming from? <laughs> I gotta watch the canner, but it's super bright. Okay, there we go. I look kind of like sunburst kind of thing here. Oh, a little lard. Where's that at? Right, right there. That's some from my lard this summer. Anyway. Making sure. Sorry. I got to keep an eye on that. So, I had a whole video. I've got two videos in my phone, but I just don't have time. <laughs> I haven't had time to sit down. I guess I could have, instead of doing this, you know, I guess I could have sat here and put together those two videos to upload. Because one of them was the pepper harvest <laughs> from August. What are we? This Thanksgiving. Um, it doesn't feel like it's been that long, to be honest with you. But when you're busy, you don't pay attention, right? Um, so, anywho, um, yeah, I got the, the pepper harvest, which was, like I said, in August, and we made a, oh God, I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember everything we did. You'll see it eventually. I'll do it sometime this winter, I guess. Um, we made a unstuffed pepper soup base. So all you have to do is just, you know, put some rice and chicken or meat of some kind in it. And it's all there. Peppers and onions and... Oh, tomatoes and garlic and, you know, all the yummy goodness of a stuffed pepper minus the rice and, um, sorry. <laughs> to go live, you can't go airplane mode. Um, but anyway. And then what else? Oh, of course. There's just so much <laughs> pickled peppers. Holy cow. So much pickled pepper. And I don't eat them. But he does. The hubby does. So, I don't think I'm growing peppers next year. I don't think I am. I'm, I say that. I say that every year, right? But I don't, I don't think I am. I don't know. Anywho. Sorry. I'm at home. I can do that, right? Um, hmm, pandemic 2.0, huh? Hmm, hearing about that? Yeah. Other people could talk, I'm getting notifications from YouTube videos, right? Um, what else? What else did we do? I don't remember. I think in the last pepper harvest in September... October. God, when was it? I don't even remember now. <laughs> the last pepper harvest, whenever it was, it was right before the freeze. Um, hot pepper relish, and apparently it's really good. People are digging it and want me to sell it to them. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, we're just going to, I guess, eat it. There will be some gifting of the hot pepper relish. You know who you are. Um, but there's a lot of stuff I've done. I've done some stuff. My onions are... Oh, oh my gosh. They are... Did good, right? We had like, what, 40, 50 something pounds of onion... Um, and then they started kind of, you know, pooping out on me and, um, started going south. So it was definitely time because I've been waiting so long to do, um, the balsamic onion jam. So good. <laughs> it smelled so good in here that day. Oh my goodness. So just because I'm not on 
YouTube and showing you everything does not mean I'm not doing the things. Because trust me when I am. I tell you, I am. Definitely. I mean, come on, like I said, it's Friday night. And I'm here. Hey, thankfully I had the day off. Because trust me, if I didn't, this would be Saturday. And tomorrow it might be a nice day. So there's definitely things to do outside. Of course, today was a nice day. I mean, like 50-something. But it was pretty. Um, I went out on the porch. Of course, I went to feed the feed and gather eggs and do all that. Um, other than that, I didn't really get out of here. Lots of... Um, sorry. Lots of fiddling with the doggone stove, keeping it within range. Sorry about that. Um, that's about it. You know, I went to do, um, you know, we don't go, I don't go to the store very often anymore because the harvest was good, so we're eating you know, I have to sit down and do a something to show you everything, I guess. I probably could do, probably could do that now. Um, you know, we're talking turkeys and stuff. But, you know, I started doing the dropping thing what, a year or so ago. And, um, of course, I've been using that pinto beans that I've had for what <laughs> ever <laughs> and um, I wanted to do my the hubby likes like lima beans Ugh. and um, like butter beans and things like that anyway um, holy cow what the heck happened to dry beans I mean, did, 49, 59 cent a pound, right? Well, maybe a little bag, like 79 cent the most, right? Two years ago. Holy guacamole. It was 2.59 for a pound. One damn bag. I'm like, no, 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 no. We can't, no. No, no. That's, that's like two different stores, like a higher end store, which, I mean, Ingalls is, like you wouldn't think it's higher end, but now they are. And then um I'm getting close. Um and then you know just like the neighborhood store. I guess I'm gonna have to go to Walmart. I don't know. I don't think Aldi has um I know they have like black beans, usually pinto beans, and that's about it. They don't usually have a, a wide variety of dry beans. Um Heck, the last time I was in the Latin store, Latin grocer, it wasn't, you know, inexpensive for dry beans. Um, but, I guess it means, honestly, you think about it, when you think about dry beans, um, and a cup goes a long way, right? And normally when I do my pintos, I just want to do pints. I think the last one I did, the last run I did was just like last week, two weeks ago, I guess it was two weeks ago. And, um, because I like pintos and I like to keep little pints on the shelf because that's a meal, right? For two people, that's usually part of the meal. It's about the same as buying a can in the store. Well, normally, about four, let's say four cups of dry beans gets me seven jars. I'm sitting here counting, I'm sorry. A whole canner of pints. So, because I'm over here old school. Old school presto, yes. That's actually my mom. <laughs> she bought me one a couple years ago, but I'd already had hers up here borrowing it. So I said, you know what, just, just keep the new one and I'll just keep the old one, right? 
<laughs> it's the same thing, but hers has been around a lot longer. Um, so I can only get, what, seven pints and then um, six quart jars at one time in here. And that's fine, because normally that's all I can, you know, do. You know, maybe one day I'll graduate and get the bigger double stacky thing and I can double stack pints. That would be awesome. Um, but then I would be over here like this, like super watching the doggone dial. And it's like up, down, up, down. And I'm just, it's not up, down. Trust me, it's not up, down. I just like to keep it right there within that range of definitely it doesn't go below pressure. Never, 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 never. Um, and there's just, just tiny little fluctuations. Yeah, I know. Some people just sit and just, oh, as soon as it gets up to pressure, they walk away. They do all this stuff. And I do. I mean, I get the kitchen clean. See? The shoes are washed. There's the sink. The shoes are washed. The dishes. Right? Floors have already been swept. All the turkey carcass is in the roaster to do its thing. And then I'll be canning again in the morning. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. No. I don't know if I'm canning in the morning. I might get up. Yeah. I might get up and hunt. I don't know. <laughs> Not sure. Not sure. He said there was a couple out this morning early here that I may, I may do the morning hunt instead of the afternoon hunt tomorrow. I'm not sure. Because it is after Thanksgiving and we don't have a deer yet. I mean, it's not a huge deal, right? I mean, you don't get them all the time. But by this time last year, we had the two that we wanted to have. So, anyway... I don't know where I'll put it. I guess I'll do another a whole bunch of canning videos, right? <laughs> whole bunch of deer canning again. Which is fine. Because, you know, we've been eating that. I'm down to two ground on the shelf. Of course, we use the frozen stuff, too. Um, I don't know. I really got to dig out the freezer and see where we are on sausage and things like that. We've been, been trying to use more out of the, the deer out of the freezer versus the jars um you know so if we get that deer we you know can use that or have it you know have space for it um let's see i've been making a little bit of space with the chicken that gosh it's just two of us so literally a couple weeks ago i did i took out one quarter of the kernel so it was about, it was nine pound birds. So here was that, two and a half pounds. So it was basically the a back quarter of chicken. And I threw it in the crock pot for the day. Got home, broke it apart, and shredded it up. And that night we had chicken casserole, right? With the stuffing and the gravy or the creamy soup and onions and carrots and blah, 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 all the stuff, right? So we ate on that for pretty much the most of the week. But then the other um, half, which ended up being like probably like a little over, like two and a half cups of meat, basically. So the other one, other portion of meat from that quarter of the chicken ended up with uh, some freaking awesome chicken noodle soup. Hello? With the carrots and the onions and the noodles and the salad. Oh my goodness. So, yes, next year we will be doing more meat birds. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. We're just going to have to do. <laughs> we're going to have to get a bigger freezer. That's what we're going to have to do. We're just, just get another, well, or a, another freezer to go by beside that freezer just for chicken. Because, mm -hmm. yes, yes, chicken home raised is by far the absolute best thing. It's so good. It's so yummy, yummy, yummy. So yummy. Yeah, look, look at here. I'm going to turn you back around. Look. See? Yeah. 
see, we creeping again. I can't get like too close because it's freaking hot. It's creeping again. You see that? Now we're at 11 and a half. Swear to goodness, if not, I mean, it's not like we're like high or anything. Barely a touch. Barely a touch. That's, I, I gotta keep it right here. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, well, I've got you. I guess turned around. I will show you. Yeah, no. It's dark over here. So, yeah. Come on. Okay. So, we're pretty full. We're pretty full. We got some. I went ahead and made space. Took the wild pork moved it over so I could have my space for my um, turkey pot pie and then this is just time I've been drying from the garden I'll put more broth here and then it'll go up there as well and you can see the jar these are uh, everything up there is overflow like overflow like all of that box up there is peaches I have like two rows right here and then that box plus that row right here is pickled peppers green beans kraut cream corn and spaghetti sauce sauce I guess sauce yes sauce and things new things new things new things you can't see the new thing I can't reach it but the little teeny tiny jar. What? No. Wait a minute. Is this one? Is it right here? Yeah, the my oh my goodness. My stepdaughter came for dinner yesterday, so I had to give her some. Let me see. I'm trying to grab it. I don't have my step stool out. <laughs> Anywho. Um, can't really see it. The I didn't even write balsamic on it, but onion jam. Balsamic onion jam. Super yummy, super yummy. And then, what else is new? And then fire roasted tomatoes. Nope, those those are diced tomatoes. Those are fire roasted. Yeah, those are. Yes. I just called them diced. Those are the um, I roasted them in the oven, so they were pretty yummy. They have a different flavor. I mean, you can see they're a little bit darker than, if you can tell, the jars up there are bright. And then the little little thing right here is pizza sauce, because I make pizzas at home now. Um, you can see a lot of gaps, you know, little gaps here and there. But that's where we've been eating it. And you can't even see the, um, what is that up there? It sees way back there. You got the um, chocolate cherry jam and all that. And like I said, we've been I'm down to just a little bit. You know, got little gaps. I had to move. Actually, out of this whole row right here was um, chili. It's all gone. And this is the uh, pepper pepper soup. You can see that. So, or whatever. And of course, just a pretty traditional veg, you know, with onions and carrots and green beans and corn. So, yeah, it's busy. And then this is the uh, hot pepper relish. So, it's a little dark over here. We have this little tiny light. And, of course, I just filled up the, the, um, <laughs> the pinto beans. And then I need more black beans. But that'll be fine. It's coming. So, anywho turn back around and gosh I hate that that it keeps creeping anywho all right well guys I've been on for 25 minutes just rambling 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 but this is Friday night and I have 24 minutes on the canner so what's the day? it's the six it's just six o'clock. I still have time to go sing karaoke if I want to, right? I don't have anything else to do, right? Go go sing karaoke. It's till like ten. 
it's not a big deal. So, anyway, um, one of these days I will finish and edit those two videos. I think it's, like I said, it's the all about peppers. And all about pepper day. I mean, it started early and it went most of the day. And then, um, and I think I have my French onion soup day. I think. Uh-oh. Hey, guess what? Guess what? Now, I'm not going to do tonight. I'm not going anywhere. Because the husband just texted me. And he got a deer. So, now you know what I'm going to be doing tonight. I'm going to be gutting a deer in the backyard. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, well, I guess I'm not going out. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he just texts. He said, I shot one, I gotta wait. So he's gotta wait, you know, you gotta wait at least 30, 45 minutes or something. S sit there, be still, don't do anything, wait. Make sure that it um, is down. Because if not, you're gonna be traipsing all over the woods in the dark at night. Been there, done that. Hello. So he gets too excited when he shoots someone. <laughs> and he just gets excited and then comes down the stand and then they, they poof, they pop up and the adrenaline's going and everything else. So no, let them sit, let them lay. So I guess now I won't be going hunting tomorrow because we will be, um, yeah. <laughs> I may be cleaning out a freezer tomorrow. Anyway, alrighty. I know I saw a couple people pop in, but um, all right. Well, that's it. That's what I'm doing now, I guess. So, hopefully, everyone had a safe and blessed Thanksgiving. I know we did, and um, and it looks like we're being blessed again. So, all right. Until next time, many blessings.